Je, una maono binafsi ya kumwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli? Ngoja niambie tena swali. Je, una maono binafsi ya kumwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli? Hilo ndo swali ambalo Roho Mtakatifu analokuwa nakuuliza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana, tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Bwana ni mwema. Zote hizo salamu za kuweza kumtukuza Yesu Kristo. Napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru Mungu alitukutanisha mimi na wewe na aliyekuwa amekusanya kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Ah, napenda kuchukua pia nafasi hii kukaribisha katika katika shule hii au katika darasa hili zuri sana la kujifunza mbinu mbalimbali za kuweza kumwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli. Ah, kabla jaza kwenda kuanza katika kipengele cha kwanza Uh, mimi nae unayekuwa na mtazama naitwa mwalimu Ole Jolai Moko Tayai lo single kwa kifupi niitwa Ole Jolai namshukuru Mungu kwa neema yake amenipa kipawa cha na kipawa cha kufundisha mambo mbalimbali lakini pia nachomshukuru Mungu katika hayo mambo mbalimbali au maeneo mbalimbali ambayo Mungu amenipa amenipa pia kipande cha kufundisha neno la Mungu katika maeneo mbalimbali kadi ambavyo anavonijalia kuweza kufahamu kwa hiyo inawezekana ni mara yako ya kwanza siku ya leo inawezekana umeshai kukutana na mimi nikifundisha neno la Mungu inawezekana umeshai kutembelea pia kazi video zangu mbalimbali ambazo ziko katika mtandao wa internet lakini inawezekana ndio siku ya kwanza ambayo tumekutana ninachotaka kusema kwamba kumbuka ya kwamba Mungu na Yesu Kristo wana upendo wa milele kwako hilo ndo naloweza kusema Ah, pia kwa upande wa raia mimi ni mtanzania na katika shule hii tutakuwa tunatumia lugha ya Kiswahili na hii ndio bendera yetu ya taifa. Napenda kuwakaribisha ah, watazamaji wote ambao wanaishi katika nchi zingine tofauti na Tanzania kutembelea na kikiwezekana kuja kuishi katika nchi hii nzuri ambayo ina milima na mabonde na ina rasilimali na utajiri wa namna yake lakini vyote hivyo ni vidogo kama kuwepo kwa Mungu. Kikubwa zaidi kama sisi kama taifa tunamwona Mungu na Mungu anaishi katika nchi yetu ya Tanzania na anga la Tanzania limefunikwa na uwepo wake. Haijalishi kwamba tunaona kazi mbalimbali za shetani zinafanyika lakini Mungu yupo katika nafasi yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Basi napenda kabla sijaanza kukaribisha na kukueleza vitu vichache vivyo kwa kuandikwa hapo baoni, naomba kwanza tufanye maombi ya afya ya kufungua kipindi. Tuombe. Naweza kufumba macho, naweza kufumba macho, naweza kupiga magoti, uwe kufanye kitu kwa imani. Mungu wetu leo mtakatifu tunakuja mbele ya madhabahu yako mimi pamoja na mtoto wako ambaye hatuonani kwa jinsi ya kimwili lakini tunaonana kwa jinsi ya kiroho na kwa katika ulimwengu wa roho ila tunachokushukuru ya Yesu unatuona sisi nasi tunakupa sifa zote kwa sababu unatuona tunakushukuru kwa sababu unatuona na uko pamoja na sisi katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth Roho mtakatifu tunakukaribisha katika madhabahu yako, patikana na kutenda matendo yako makuu. E Bwana, patikana na kulitukuza jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunakukaribisha katika kipindi hiki na katika shule hii na katika idara E Bwana, idara ya kukuabudu katika roho na kweli, upate na kutufundisha hatua kwa hatua mbinu unazozitaka kwa sababu unachosema ni kwamba unatafuta kwamba mwanake sai na kuja ambayo na, na ipo ambayo tuabudu halisi tutamwabudu baba katika roho na kweli kwa maana wewe unawatafuta watu kama hao ili tupate kumwabudu Mungu katika roho na kweli. Mungu tunakushukuru kwa kutafuta na kutukusanya na kutupa huu muda kidogo kweli la kuweza kutumia. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareth, nguvu zako zitufunike na upate kwenda kujibu maombi yetu nayo kwa tunayaomba tunapokuwa tunakuabudu na wimbo huu wa kwamba ni wewe Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareth. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Basi napenda kuchukua nafasi hii kukupa utangulizi kidogo wa shule a uh, ambayo tunayo napenda kuchukua nafasi kwa karibisha watazamaji wote wa nchi ya Tanzania na wa kimataifa katika shule yetu ya kwenye mtandao wetu wa ufalme wa mbinguni umekaribia Tanzania kwenye mabane ya mraba wa Njoi M pia napenda kukaribisha katika channel yetu ya kwenye YouTube ambayo ni tu ufalme wa mbinguni umekaribia Tanzania katika mabano wa Njoi M Jambo la msingi kwamba unaona kulingana na jina la shule kwamba ufalme wa mbinguni so ufalme wa Lenjolai so ufalme hasumzi uraisi atuzumzi tunazungumzia ufalme wa mbinguni ambao ni mfumo wa ufalme wa mbinguni ambao ndio tutakachokuwa tunaweza kukiangalia lakini kama jinsi ambavyo shule inavyoelezea tutakuwa tunajifunza masomo mbalimbali ya ufalme wa mbinguni kutoka kwenye Biblia takatifu kwa sababu hii 
ndio tunaita kwa maana mwongozo hii ndio nuru yetu hii hapa ndio maisha yetu jinsi na wanadamu wote zaidi ya bilioni sita duniani ambao wako duniani yako ndani ya kitabu hiki kinachoitwa Biblia takatifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hiyo napenda sana kuwa pamoja na wewe na kumbuka kusudi ambalo lipo ndani yetu ni kuona kwamba neno la Mungu linakuepo katika matendo yani ni kuona kwamba tunafanikiwa kwa kutafakari neno la Mungu ni kuona kwamba tunashinda vita tunavyopigwa kila siku kwa kutumia neno la Mungu. Kwa hiyo ndio itakuwa nia kubwa na maono makubwa kwa ajili ya kazi hii na tuko tayari kwa ajili ya kuifanya na namomba Mungu aweze kusimamia na wewe ndio tukumbuka katika maombi lakini jambo la msingi tu kwamba ujitahidi pia na wewe kwa wanafunzi makini kwa kufuatilia vipindi hatua kwa hatua kwa sababu tutakuwa tunajitahidi kukuwekea au kuweka masomo mbalimbali mbali, kwenye channel yetu ya YouTube ambapo inaweza kafikia watu mbalimbali wale wako duniani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa maona ambayo tunayo ni kuona kwamba jamii ya kitanzania iliyojengwa katika misingi na mifumo ya ufalme wa mbinguni katika mazingira ambayo wa Tanzania tunakuwa na uwezo wa kuchanganya maarifa ambayo labda tunaita kwamba ni maarifa darasani au maarifa maarifa ya namna mbalimbali aina mbalimbali za maarifa na pia hekima ya neno la Mungu na kutumia huo mchanganyiko kutatua matatizo. Naliona niliza swali haiwezekani. Na mimi nataka kukuambia haiwezekani kwa sababu hujasoma kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya sura ya bena moja, mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 30 mpaka wa 39. Utaona kwamba kwa Yusufu iliwezekana kwa sababu manake Farao alimwambia Yusufu kwamba tupate wapi mtu kama huyu ambaye roho wa Mungu yuko ndani yake. Roho wa Mungu manake na maanisha ni hekima ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini ukisoma mstari wa 39 pia mwanzo wa bena moja 39, unaona kabisa Farao akiwaambia watumishi wake na akimwambia na Yusufu kwamba Yusufu nimeangalia katika nchi yote ya Misri hakuna mwenye akili na hekima kama wewe. Kwa sababu hiyo nakupea nafasi ya kukaa kama kiongozi kuongoza maono hayo ambayo Mungu ametupa na maonyo ambayo ametupa ya kuweka akiba kwa miaka saba ya shimbe kwa ajili ya kutunza hiyo akiba kwa ajili na kuweza kutumika miaka saba ya njaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa misingi hiyo basi napenda pia kama ni mara yako ya kwanza napenda ku just ku napenda ku ku, 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 ku wasilishia, uh, baada lakini kabla kuwasilishia napenda pia kupa maelekezo kidogo juu ya maandishi ambayo yameandikwa hapo kuna idara tatu ku, mpaka sasa kutakuwa kuna idara nyingi lakini mpaka sasa kuna idara kuna idara zaidi ya tatu katika shule hiyo forma mbinguni idara moja hapo ni mwabudu Mungu wangu idara nyingine ni msifu Mungu wangu na idara nyingine ni forma mbinguni na hii ni mwabudu Mungu wangu msingi wake uko kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 4 mstari wa 19 hadi 25 ambao atakwenda kusoma sasa hivi na somo ninalojifunza leo lina kichwa kinachosema jifunze kutafakari ujumbe wa wimbo wa kuabudu sawa sana Yoshua sura ya kwanza mstari wa 8 ambao atakwenda kusoma ili darasa la watu wote haijalishwe ni kijana haijalishwe ni, ni mtoto haijalishwe ni mtu mzima haijalishwe ni mzee aya madarasa bwana Yesu uzuri wake ni ya watu wote na tuko kwenye sura ya kwanza ambayo sura ya kwanza sajiozoeshe kuandika maneno ya wimbo na kuabudu mara nyingi. Hilo ndo somo hicho ndo manake hicho ndo hiyo ndo sura ya kwanza leo jifunza. Na hiki leo ni kipindi cha kwanza ambacho kina kichwa kinachosema tumwabudu Mungu kwa wimbo wa ni wewe Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini pia kuna napenda kushirikisha hatua kadhaa kama ni mara ya kwanza umetembelea kwenye shule yetu ukaona kabisa kwamba ukasikia maoni mwako au unaona hivi sasa au utaona baadaye ya kwamba kuna haja ya kujiunga na kwa wanafunzi wa kudumu ili tunapokuwa tunaongeza chakula uwe pia ni mmoja wapo wa kula hiko chakula tunachokuwa tunakiweka basi fuata hatua hizi kwa ajili ya kuweza kufanikisha kujisajili kwa kudumu na hakuna gharama zilizo usajili kama hauna anwani ya address basi tengeneza anwani ya email samani samani kama huna anwani ya email basi tengeneza anwani ya email kwenye google kwenye google maana software au tengeneza kwa ba email pia katika google chrome na pia na software au kwamba software mbalimbali. Lakini pia tunachokuja tu apili na kuambia sign kwenye YouTube kwa kutumia email yako kwa email ambayo umetengeneza pale kwenye hatua ya kwanza au ya kwako tunatakiwa kumbuka password na username. 
Alafu nakwambia tafuta umuto. Umuto ni kifupi cha ufalme wa mbinguni umekaribia Tanzania kwenye mabano walinjolani. <coughs> Ndani ya unaitafutia wapi? Ndani ya YouTube. Kama unatumia simu basi utaona umuto imeandikwa hapa na nake usiandike umuto. Andika ufalme wa mbinguni umekaribia Tanzania. Kwa usiandike umuto. Mimi naandika tu umuto kwa sababu ya nafasi. Kwa utaona kuna ukishafungua ukisha tafuta umuto utaona kama ni kwenye simu utaona kuna bendera kuna kitufe cha cha mviringo na bendera ya Tanzania hapa kuna kitufe cha mviringo na bendera ambayo ni kitufe cha mviringo ambayo ni bendera ya Tanzania haya kwenye simu utaona maelezo hapa ya jina la channel au cha, ya jina la channel pamoja na idadi ya video zilizo kwa zimetoka na pia idadi ya watu walio kwa mikisabili kwenye upande wa kompyuta hizo taarifa zinaweza kukuona na kulia amen bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Hatua ya nne nakwambia kwamba bonyeza kitufe cha mviringo hapo juu. Kwa hiyo bonyeza kitufe hiki kama unatumia simu, bonyeza kitufe kama unatumia kwa sababu hili ni sawa sana bango lile linalokaribisha kwamba karibu au kwamba wizara wizara ya elimu na mafunzo ya science, shule ya sekondari uh, shule ya sekondari Kilangalanga. Amen. Kwa bonyeza hicho kitufe cha mviringo hapo chini. Lakini pia bonyeza kitufe cha nini? Tafuta kuna kitufe kimeandikwa subscribe ege kitufe muhimu sana. Kisha kiona hicho kitufe basi bonyeza kibonyeza kwenye uko tabadilika utakuwa ni subscribe alafu alama ya kengele itatokea bonyeza alama ya kengele alafu utakutana na machaguo mbalimbali kwa chagua chagua la yote ambayo ni all kwa Kiingereza. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Baada hapo utakuwa umeshajisajili tayari kwenye shule yetu kwa hiyo kipi pindi utakapo kwa kwenye mtandao internet utapata taarifa kwamba tumeongeza chakula kipya. Mwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Alafu kija kwenye mwanaka tu ya sita kwamba bonyeza kitufe cha nini cha playlist. Ukisha bonyeza hapo utakuja kuona kuna manake kuna kuna mstari ambao umelala. Kwa kitufe cha nini cha playlist. Baada hapo kwamba sema bonyeza kitufe cha share. Share ili kutuma kutuma anwani ya video hii kwa watu wengine. Karibu sana muto ili tuweze kujifunza neema ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Asa leo tunakwenda kumwabudu Mungu kwa style tofauti. Fungua na mimi kitabu cha Yohana. Yoshua, kitabu cha Yoshua sura ya kwanza. Atwanze na Yohana. Fungua na mimi Biblia yako. Kitabu cha Yohana sura ya nne mstari wa 19 mstari <coughs> wa 19 mpaka 25 ila nitasoma mstari wa 23 na 24 au nitaanza na mstari wa 19 alafu nitarukia hiyo mstari mwingine neno la bwana linasema yule mwanamke akamwambia bwana naona hakuwa na nabii alafu akaja mstari wa 23 na sasa lakini saa inakuja nayo sasa ipo ambayo waabudio halisi watamwabudu baba katika roho na kweli kwa maana baba watafuta watu kama hao wa mabudu amen baba anatafuta watu kama sisi baba anatafuta watu ambao wanaweza kumvuta katika roho na kweli bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ndio hata ambao Mungu anakuwa anatafuta kwa hiyo tukivuka maana kuna kumwabudu Mungu kusipo kumwabudu Mungu kwa roho na kweli. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa hicho ndio kipengele ambacho tulichokuwa nacho. Kwa kiangalia kwamba tukienda kwenye kitabu cha Yoshua ambao ndio msingi wa somo. Kitabu cha Yoshua sura ya kwanza mstari wa nane, tusome pale. Neno la Bwana nasema kwamba kitabu cha Yoshua Biblia inasema kwamba kitabu hiki cha Torati kisiondoke kinywani mwako bali atafakari maneno yake mchana na usiku upate kuangalia kutenda sawa sawa na maneno yote yaliyoandikwa humu maana ndipo utakapoifanikisha njia yako kama ndipo utakapo na kisha ndipo utakapo stawi sana. Amen. Ninajua kabisa kwamba hata wewe unatazama au watu wengi sana tunataka kustawi na kufanikiwa. Ila hataki kufanya kazi na kutii maagizo ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
Kwa hiyo ni jambo la msingi la kuweza kukumbuka kwamba manake maneno ya kitabu hiki kisiondoke. Na mimi maombi yangu maneno ya wimbo huu yasiondoke ndani yangu na yasiondoke ndani yako. Bali tuendelee kuyatafakari hayo maneno usiku na mchana. Na tupate kutenda sawa sana tulivyoagizio. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haleluya. 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 Kwa hilo ndo jambo ambalo la msingi sana la kuweza kukumbuka kila wakati. Wimbo huu wa na kiasili ya huu wimbo ambao ni wewe asili yake iko kwenye ufunuo ufunuo wa Yohana mtakatifu Amen asili ya wimbo ni ufunuo sura nne mstari wa nane mpaka wa 12 mstari wa nane mpaka wa 10 no nane, tisa, kumi, kumi na mwenye. kwa mstari nne ndiko huu wimbo asili yake wanaacha kae ndapo yaimba utakuta ni hii mstari ni hii msafi amen wanaacha sio sana haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Endelea kujiandaa kumabudu Mungu kwa namna tofauti. Kwa asili ya wimbo tunaopenda kumabudu Mungu ambao unaitwa ni wewe Yesu unapatikana kwenye kitabu cha Ufunuo sura ya nne fungua bibili yako hapo, some hayo maneno alafu leo tuanze kujifunza au kuweka somo katika matendo jinsi gani unatakiwa kujifunza, kuyatunza maneno ya wimbo katika kinywa chako. Maneno katika kinywa chako na kuyatafakari usiku na mchana. Twende katika kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana kama umefika sema amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Neno la Bwana linasema hivi. Ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya 4 mstari wa nane. Neno la Bwana linasema kwamba na hao wenye uhai wa nne kila mmoja alikuwa na mabawa sita na pande zote na ndani wamejaa macho wala wapumziki mchana wala usiku akisema mtakatifu 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 Bwana Mungu Mwenyezi aliyekuwako na aliyeko na atakaye kuja msari wa tisa. na hao wenye uhai wa, wanapompa yeye aketie juu ya kiti cha enzi utukufu na heshima na shukrani yeye aliye hai hata na milele Afu tende msari wa kumi. Ndipo hao wazee shirina wanne huanguka mbele zake yeye aketie juu ya kile kiti cha enzi na humsujudia yeye aliye hai hata milele na milele na huzitupa taji zao mbele za kile kiti cha enzi wakisema umestahili wewe Bwana wetu na Mungu wetu kupokea utukufu na heshima na uweza kwa kuwa wewe ndio ule viumba vitu vyote na kwa sababu ya mapenzi yako vilikwako na vikaumbwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa hiyo tunaposoma hapo unaona kwamba vitu ambavyo uh, vitu ambavyo ambavyo Yesu anapokea. Yesu anapokea. Anapokea. Yesu anapokea kutoka kutoka kwa hapo. Kutoka kwa hapo. Kutoka kwa wenye uhai wanne. Wenye uhai wanne ni uhai wa nne. Kwa Biblia sema kwamba cha kwanza kabisa anachopokea ni kwamba utukufu. Sema utukufu. Glory to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Utukufu cha kwanza. Kwa anapo utukufu, Yesu naye anapokea. Bas tunaenda kumpa Yesu utukufu na tuwe na imani kwamba anapokea. Mbona anapokea wenye uhai wa nne? Okay, utukufu na heshima. Utukufu na heshima. Heshima cha pili, cha tatu shukrani hivyo biblia inaposema shukrani ndio somo limeanza hivyo shukrani kwa shukrani eh na yeye aliye hai hata milele alafu pia kwa hiki ndio kitu cha kwanza ambacho tunatakiwa kutafakari lakini kitu cha pili ambacho tunachotiwa na hapa tunaposoma ufunuo tunaposoma ufunuo tunaposoma ufunuo wa Yohana sura ya nne, mstari wa tisa, mpaka wa kumi, Unaona pale vitu vi vitu vingapi vitu vingapi okay, vitu vitatu ambavyo ambavyo wenye uh, ambavyo wazee 
wazee mimi na Yesu wazee wazee 24 wanampa Yesu wanampa Yesu kumbuka hawa a uh, vitu tasa vitu ambavyo Yesu anavipokea anavipokea kutoka kwa wenye uhai wane usiku na mchana kwa masai 24 Yesu anapokea usiku na mchana alafu hapa tuna vitu ambavyo vitatu ambavyo wazee 24 wanampa Yesu akiwa ameketi kwenye kiti chake cha enzi cha kwanza wanachompa ambacho mimi naye pia tunapaswa kumpa. Mmestahili bwana wetu na Mungu wetu kupokea utukufu. Kwa tunampa Yesu utukufu. Utukufu, alafu pia uh, utukufu, alafu kingine cha pili heshima. Cha pili heshima. Heshima. Alafu cha tatu wanachanyongeza na uweza. Uweza ni tofauti na uwezo. Na uweza na uweza na uweza uweza ni uwezo wa kumba kitu ambacho hakipo kwa kutumia neno kwa naona hapa wanaisha sasa sana sasa unisikilize vizuri niweze kufa familia ili uweze kupata kitu biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo sura ya 4 kwa hapa ni ndani ufunuo sura ya 4 mstari wa 8 mpaka wa 9 tunaona habari za wenye uhai wanne ambao wamejaa macho pande zote Hawapumziki usiku wala mchana. Wakimwambia Yesu akiwa ameketi katika kiti cha enzi, mtakatifu mtakatifu mtakatifu. Bwana Mungu mwenye enzi, mwenyezi, mwenyezi, mwenyezi. Aliye kwako na aliyeko aliyeko na atakaye kuja. Kwa hawapumziki mchana wala usiku. Mimi na wewe. Hebu tuangalie kwa mchana na usiku tunatumia muda mwingi sana kupumzika kuliko kumwambia Yesu mtakatifu mtakatifu mtakatifu. Amen. Kwa hiyo changamoto na kwa tunafeli. Kwa wanapompa wanapoimba mtakatifu mtakatifu mtakatifu. La wakati huo huo pia wanampa Yesu akiwa amekaa katika kiti cha enzi utukufu, heshima, shukrani. Amen. Sangoja nisogeze hii kidogo ili uweze uweze kuandika wanampa Yesu utukufu cha kwanza cha pili heshima na cha tatu pia hii mbinguni mambo yanaendelea mbinguni shukrani amen bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa kwa misingi hiyo kama Yesu anapokea hivi vitu vitatu kutoka kwa wenye uhai wa nne ambao wamekizunguka kile kiti cha enzi ambacho Yesu ameweza kukaa mimi naamini kabisa na yeye pia mtupu mtazamao unatakiwa kuamini ya kwamba Yesu pia yuko tayari kupokea angalau vitu hivi vitatu na yuko tayari kutusikiliza tunapomwambia usiku na mchana mtakatifu 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 Bwana Mungu mwenye mwenye enzi amen aliyeko wako aliyeko na atakaye kuja maneno hayo tu yani manake unaweza kusema basi kuomba ukisema maneno hayo kwa imani manake Yesu anasikia kwa sababu ndipo ndio maneno ambayo wenye uhai wanne wanasema mbele ya kicha Yesu kwa kuona sisi tujifunze manake kusudi la hili la somo au kitu ninachotaka uweze kupata ambacho na mimi nimepewa na Mungu hapa hapa na vingine nimepewa wakati najiandaa kwa makumbe na wajibu wa kumpa Mungu utukufu na wajibu wa kumpa Yesu heshima na wajibu wa kumpa Yesu akiwa amekaa kwenye kiti cha enzi shukrani manake kama na mpa na yeye yuko tayari kupokea kwa hiyo unapopea unapompa kwa mfano ninapotaka kukupa Biblia lazima ili kwamba lile zoezi la kupewa likamilike lazima upokee Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa wanapompa utukufu wanapompa heshima wanapompa shukrani wanapomwambia mtakatifu 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 Bwana Mungu mwenye enzi aliyeko aliyekuwa aliye aliye aliyeko wako aliyeko na atakaye kuja Manako Yesu lazima awe anatega sikio wakati huo huo ameketi mkono wa kume anakuombea wewe wakati huo huo anasamehe zambi wakati huo huo anamtaki shetani wakati huo huo anapotega sikio lake la sikio lake duniani hayo mambo yanaendelea kule mbinguni na anasikia na anaposikia kuna kitu kinaachiliwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini pia tukija katika kitabu cha Ufumo sura ya 4 mstari wa 9 mpaka wa 10 kuna vitu vitatu ambavyo wazee 24 wanampa Yesu. 
Biblia haitoambii ni usiku na mchana lakini hiyo ndio kazi ambayo wanayo wazee 24 walizunguka kiti cha enzi cha Mungu wanampa Yesu vitu vitatu cha kwanza utukufu cha pili heshima cha tatu uweza Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa unapokuta haya maneno unaona hapa manake hawa 24 wanampa Yesu utukufu na hawa wanne wanampa Yesu utukufu jumla wangapi mbinguni wako 28 wanaomba Yesu utukufu hata kama hutaki hata kama ukistafu mbinguni hawaendelea na kazi ya kumpa Yesu utukufu amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini pia kuna wenye uhai wanne wanampa Yesu heshima na kuna wazee 24 wanampa Yesu heshima kwa 24 jumlisha 4 inafanya nini kwa sababu hesabu yako inakuwa ngapi 28 kwa hiyo maana yake wako wenye uhai wanne jumlisha wazee 24 wanampa Yesu heshima utake usitake umpe usimpe mimi ushauri wangu na kushauri sikia neno la Bwana acha na achana na ubishi achana na swala la kuona kama ni mambo ya kupoteza muda jifunze kumpa Yesu heshima na utukufu na uweza na shukrani Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wako wenye uhai wa nne ambao hawapumziki usiku wala mchana kumwambia Yesu wanampa Yesu shukrani. Ha, mimi na wewe hata kama tukisusa kusema Yesu hatukushukuru kwa sababu hujajibu maombi yetu. Maana Yesu anaendelea kupokea shukrani mbinguni akiwa amekaa kwenye kiti cha enzi. Ila shukrani yako pia ina muhimu na ina nafasi yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini pia tukisema kwamba tunashindwa kumpa Mungu uweza. Uweza maana kwamba ni tofauti na uwezo soma Biblia vizuri unapokutana na maneno uweza na uwezo sisi wanadamu tumeumbiwa uwezo lakini uweza ni wa Mungu peke yake kwa sababu tunaposoma kitabu cha Waebrania sura ya 11 mstari wa tatu kwamba nasi tuamini ya kwamba kila kitu kiliumbwa kwa neno la Mungu kwa Mungu ndaweza katamka kitu kikatokea amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hiyo wanawake wako wazee 24 wanaomba Yesu uweza Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Naamini hili neno angalau msingi umekuweka mahali mazuri. Sasa twende kwenye kipindi chetu cha leo. Tumwabudu Mungu na wimbo wa ni wewe Yesu. Nimeshaona kwamba asili sasa unaona kwa makazi ambayo tunayo mema. Ah, ndugu mtazamaji, hili darasa ambalo tuko serious. Kwa hiyo hakikisha unapokuwa na shiriki madarasa ya kumsifu Mungu, ya kumwabudu Mungu iwe shule hii ya Kiswahili, shule ya Kiingereza, uwe na Biblia yako. Uwe na pia na nini? Uwe na na kitabu na daftari lako la kuandika. Tutaanza kuandika nyimbo. Unaweza kuandika kutumia penseli, japo penseli inaweza kafutika, unaweza kuwa na peni za rangi mbalimbali, lakini hakisha una vitu angalau vitatu. Kwa sababu mimi na mwalimu kwa napenda kuona wanafunzi wakiandika kama mimi nilipoongozwa kuandika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa kama kuna daftari ninakuoma tu Yesu anakuona tafuta daftari tafuta mahali pa kuandika tafuta kalamu tunza ya, ya ninachotamani kwamba ninachokuwa nakiona kwenye jamii ya Tanzania tujifunze kuweka bidii kwenye kujifunza mambo ya Mungu sawa ninajua kuna nyimbo kuna vitabu vya nyimbo kuna vitabu vya tenzi lakini ili wameandika wenzako jifunze kuandika kwa mkono wako mwenyewe ndipo yale maneno yanapokuwa kwenye moyo wako yanapoingia kwenye akili yako yanapoingia kwenye kinywa chako na unapoanza kuyatamka na kuyakiri na kuyakiri ndipo naye Mungu anapata kibali ya kufanya mambo makubwa Mwanaisha asifiwe sana. Kuna somo nalosema kwamba kwamba kuna kuna kujifunze kumwabudu Mungu kunapomgusa Mungu. Kwa hiyo kumwabudu Mungu halisi manake ni kuabudu kunapomgusa Mungu. Amen. Sio kila kuabudu kunagusa Mungu. Mwanaisha asifiwe sana. Basi unaweza uka nakili hizi hatua kadhaa za kujisajili baada hapo nataka sasa twende kwenye kwenye kiini cha somo la neno. Kama una maswali uzuri wa shule hii, hii ni shule kamili, kuna walimu, kuna wanafunzi, kuna idara, kuna madaftari, kuna vitabu, kuna ma, kuna maktaba. Eh, kuna maabara madai ta pepe neno la Mungu, wanaweza sikia sana. Kuna hospitali umomo, kuna uponyaji. Lakini nyako la msingi kama una maswali juu ya kitu au kitu, juu ya kipengele au juu ya somo unalojifunza, uulize kwenye sehemu ya comments hapa chini utaangalia kuna sehemu inaandikwa comments basi pale andika tu kwa lugha ya Kiswahili swali lako au tupe mrejesho au kama una ushuhuda basi tushirikishe hapo na uweze kutueleza ukweli ukiamini kabisa kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anasoma
kwa jina la wimbo ni wewe amen kwa tuanze na nje jina la wimbo unaitwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu baada ya hapo sasa kwa sababu tunasema kwamba somo letu au tunasema sura yetu ya kwanza tunizoeshe kuandika maneno ya wimbo na kuabudu mara nyingi sasa twende sasa kwenye kuandika maneno ya wimbo sasa kaandika huko ukiwa unaimba ni wewe ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa koma na mbili kwa ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa afu narudia tena to maana hii alama ya kuzidisha namba mbili ni ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu 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 na heshima na heshima na heshima utukufu utukufu na heshima na heshima zina heshima zina wewe Yesu zina wewe Yesu zina wewe Yesu zina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa yes ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu kwa maana unafuata ni wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa eh ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa haya tufanye mazoezi ya hisi maana ya haya maneno ya kwanza tende moja mbili tatu unakinywa 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 Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Zaburi ya 150 mstari wa sita kila mwenye pumzi na msifu Bwana unakinywa mwambie jirani yako na kinywa kwa lazima lazima mwabudu Mungu ni wajibu wako kumwabudu Mungu amen amen useme sina gitaa sina 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 kinanda ah sina labda sina 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 ngoma ah ah unakinywa kwa kinywa chako hicho hicho mimi mwenyewe pia nilikuwa ni muoga siwezi kuimba mbele za watu siwezi kuimba watu wakanisikia nikiimba mimi mwenyewe najikataa lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa neema yake amenitoa na mimi ni mwanafunzi wa shule ya uimbaji wa kumwabudu na kumsifunga. Kwa ni mwanafunzi. Kwa na mimi natamani pia nawe uendelee kuwa mwanafunzi wa Yesu Kristo. Atufundishe namna ya kumwabudu yeye na kumsifu yeye. Hatuende. <coughs> Moja, mbili, tatu. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ha imba tena rudia tena ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa ni wewe Yesu
Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa haya tena sasa sehemu ya pili ya wimu ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa 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 utukufu na heshima hapa tarudia mara mbili manake yote kuanzia hapa mpaka tarudia mara mbili hapa narudia tu sehemu mstari wa kwanza na pili mara mbili ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa yes ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa utukufu utukufu na heshima utukufu na heshima utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu 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 ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa hatende ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa twende ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa he ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa tunaendelea na wimbo ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa tafuta tu ya pia mara mbili sehemu yetu ya mara mbili ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ndio hapa mara tano. Kwa hiyo sasa kwa hiyo wimbo wetu una sehemu kutatu. Kwamba kuna hii sehemu ya kwanza ambayo itaimba mara mbili, baada hapo tutakuja tutaimba mara mbili, alafu pia tutakuja tutaimba mara tano. Hapo tutakuwa tunaanisha mzunguko lakini si kanuni unaweza ukaimba hii hata mara sita, mara kumi, ni sawa. Miguni inakubalika na inasubiriwa kweli kweli. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. <coughs> basi weka sauti yako vizuri <coughs> kama kwa limekauka kidogo poza mwanake chukua maji kunywa kidogo alafu lenisha sauti ili tuweze kwenda kumabudu Mungu wetu katika utakatifu wake jiandae jiandae tazama maneno mmoja wimbo ambao ni mwepesi sana una maneno magumu una maneno ambayo yanajirudia rudia na ni maneno ambayo yana maana sana mbinguni kwa sababu nachompa Yesu au tunachomwambia Yesu ni yeye pekee yake anastahili kuabudiwa 
Aniye peke yake atakaye pokea nini? Anastahili kupokea tukufu na heshima, sio mimi. Uko tayari? Uko tayari? Amen. 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 Pende. Ni ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa. Utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa. Utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu. Ni wewe Yesu wakuinuliwa ni wewe.
ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa utukufu na heshima vina wewe Yesu ni wewe Yesu wakuabudiwa Amen Mungu akubariki sana ongera na Mungu endelee kutunza endelea kumwabudu Mungu Do you love basic engineering and scientific mathematics? Oh, another question that I can have or you can have in your mind. Are you looking the place where you can learn, understand, apply the concept of basic mathematics uh, uh, basic engineering and scientific mathematics? If you have such kind of your questions then you're on welcome and I'll let to tell you that today possibly you have made the right answer for your question. How are you everybody who is watching this program? Uh, my name is Olen Jolai Moko Tayelo Singo. Simply you can call me Olen Jolai. I'm a Tanzanian and I'm living in Tanzania and this is my beautiful country. This is the national flag, my national flag, the national flag of my country. And I would like to honor you and welcome you and invite you and encourage you and keep you into our online institutions that called the Online Diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania. So well, so I, I thank God you can be asked yourself your questions, what are we, what are we doing? Who am I? Okay, wonderful. Who am I? That's a good question. I thank God by his own grace, he has built a gift of engineering in my, in me. And I thank God also by his own gift, by his own grace, he built in me the gift of teaching. So he, I will be standing in these positions as an engineer, and uh, I will be standing in these positions as mathematician, engineer, and also a teacher. Right? We will be teaching you about the beauty of 40, basic engineering and scientific mathematics. So remember that Olenjole does not know everything about basic engineering and scientific mathematics. I just know small portions of it. I'm always learning new concepts from it. But I have an assignment to teach others what I know. When I was being taught, because more than 65% of the contents that we are going to teach you, I've never learned it from any human being or from any class. So God has been teaching me year after year, a day after day, and month after month. Uh, mean that I had just the, I was reading some references, and then from there I understand the concept. And even today is. Uh, questions that we are going to solve as examples, you will find that they are extraordinary and the way of even of solving uh, is, is not the easy. That's why we call them the conceptual question. Okay? So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the national and international viewers. I'll be using the syllabus of United Republic of Tanzania of competence based. That's to the syllabus that I'm going to use to teach you. However, that these contents will be international. So it means you can access them or will be benefit, it can profit even students who are studying in Canada, students who are studying in China, students who are studying in Australia, they can take advantage in that. And as long as I'm using English, so they can understand and they can take it, it into advantage. Students who are studying in India, students who are studying in Nigeria, they can take advantage in South Africa and different places of the world. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into our online diploma Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania Square Bracket College of Life. Simultaneously, I'd like to welcome you into one of our official YouTube channels that's called Online Diploma for the Institute of Tanzania in Square Bracket in So you can have again a number of the questions if it's your first time, or second time, or third time, or fourth time. And one question is what are we doing? That's a very important question. Wonderful. The thing that we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, would like just to say that we have a vision. And this vision is a kind of an assignment to be given by God Himself. Uh, uh, we have an assignment to teach and train, teach, to teach and train uh, ordinary diploma students about the beauty of basic engineering, scientific mathematics, in, and also some for, uh, just the core courses in electrical engineering, in biomedical engineering, in telecommunication engineering, in electronics engineering, computer engineering, and even computer science. We can teach them some courses. Okay, so that's the point that I want to to make that we are here to teach you on how we have to extract the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the classroom instructions that they are collecting elsewhere in any college. 
and hence combine it with the knowledge of the Word of God written in the Holy Bible, uh, and then after the written in the Holy Bible, then after extracting and combining these two different knowledge, we combine two different understanding, combine two different theories. Then the applications now will be solving real life problems, and especially that we have to start from ourselves. Okay, so that's a very important concept that you have to remember as a serious student of this program. So we have the visions as four parts, extracting knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the classroom instruction, extracting knowledge and wisdom, extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom in the word of God and combining them in order to solve either intermediate scale real life problems or even advanced scale real life problems. All right, okay, have you understood? So then we are coming again, so we are still in introducing you. We have more than four departments in, in this online school. The first one is called Departments of Basic Engineering, Scientific Mathematics. Don't expect that that department will be in your school, no. This year, the way that God has been teaching me different concepts. Okay, so welcome into the, uh, the module of the course called Numerical Methods. And here, uh, this contest we are creating because we are video, by God's grace, also we are create video creators. So it's the third year in ordinary diploma. Oh. This is, there's no be. So, ordinary diploma in engineering. Ordinary diploma in science. That is. Okay? That is. And then simply in uh, Andanate, we call it NT level 6 of NAT. We add chapter 1 called numerical methods. Then we add lecture 4 solving conceptual questions by Newton, Rathon, Nasod. Again, I would like just to know, I know that some of you are, are new in old, in, in old people. And some of you are watching are not new. So registration to open. Our old people, yes, fine. So registrations, uh, follow this step to register yourself for permanently into old people. Firstly, if you don't have email, create or open the new email. Then next, if you don't, uh, then we ask you to sign in first if you open the YouTube application at the top of your right hand side, then you see it. So sign in YouTube by email. So we sign by YouTube. We sign in YouTube by using the email. So we ask the, the password and the user. Once again, we have to search old people. So old people means online diploma polytechnic instead of online in square bracket in YouTube. So his name is not this one. So don't search this one because this is the abbreviation. But if you are searching our, our videos uh, in mobile phone, you can find that, you can find the, the flag there, and then some other related things. Okay, so this is, means that the number of videos and number of subscribers. So for this one, we say that we have a PC, we have a Mac, or a desktop. So when you search for, for that, then you find that we have the national flag. Okay, then they have subscribers. So ladies and gentlemen, at the process actually, this is the thing we hope for to happen. Okay, so once you see this one, and you see the national flag, our national flag, so you have to get information that you should hide. Okay, so again, you have to go to the first state where you find the button so you subscribe. We ask you to click this way only once, once you click it, then you find that the icon of the bell appear. Icon of the bell appear. So click this icon of the bell once. You'll be prompted with three options. Choose the option four. Okay? Okay, so it means that from there, once you, you, you will see, uh, YouTube will send to you 
an automatic message to welcome you in that family. Okay? So then, so it means that right now you have registered yourself, so you have to take advantage. You have to share also with others. Okay? Then they say that if you examine this stuff, you find that if you're using text, you probably subscribe. So if you subscribe it, then you have should you have peace that it seems to be okay. Okay? So once so that is what it says. So once you find that uh, you subscribe it, then you have this one and this one. Okay? So click on so you ask you click playlist and then find the playlist with details and make a message. Okay? So we say in order for you to access our content systematically without too much hassle, we ask you that to create the playlist and go into the medical methods. And then you see number of questions there. I don't advise the seven step. Click share. Okay, so so it means that we, when you go into the playlist of medical methods, you find the collections of all the. Okay, so click. Uh, so we say that in, uh, when you go to the medical method, you find all the lectures, all the sessions. Okay, again we say that number six, you click the playlist in medical methods. Okay, and then we have to ask you that you can share the video link of this uh, the video link this video link. Okay, you can share with others through so, so what social media. Okay? Through so social media. So you can share with them the video link so they can take an advantage of this stuff for the rest of their life. Okay? So keep on thinking about that in uh, introduction, then we'll come back and continue today's session.